All right, the stock market looking for a firm direction here to help make sense of it all is Nadia Lovell, the U.S. equity strategist at J.P. Morgan Private Bank. So, Nadia, the sector rotation that we've been seeing this week, is that behind us or do you expect that to continue? I think we could continue to see a little bit of that. It's not surprising to see that tech take a breather after a very strong year. And that's been beneficial financials, which is something that we remain very constructive about. Although with the financial sector, we just found out that Citigroup could actually see a $20 billion hit to earnings because of the Republican tax bill. So how do, how do investors process news like this when it comes to financials? You know, that's been long communicated by Citi, um, so it's not surprising. But if you look at the sector as a whole, the sector is very well positioned to benefit from corporate tax reform, being the fact that much of the sector sees uh, effective tax rates above uh, 30%. And so we look to see the financials and bank uh, in particular be a net beneficiary, particularly some of the regional banks. Uh, and do you think, obviously, rate hikes will help that net interest margin dynamic, how many rate hikes should we expect in 2018 from the Fed? Yeah, I think the market is really underappreciating the short end of the curve. Right now, the market seems to be pricing at about one to two rate hikes. We are looking for three rate hikes in 2018, and that should really help the bottom line for a lot of banks. Deposit betas really remain, continue to remain relatively low, although they are starting to tick up in some parts of, of, of the market. Um, but we think net-net that you will see um, continued net interest margin expansion in 2018. Now, when it comes to the broader markets, where do you see the S&P 500 going for the next 12 months? Because I've seen some firms issue targets that are, you know, two or three percent higher than where we are now. Absolutely. I think some of those targets probably did not take into consideration the progress being made in corporate tax reform. But even on a corporate tax reform neutral basis, the, the, the economy remains on solid footing. And so we expect that to be supportive of corporate earnings in 2018, expecting to see high single digits corporate earnings, which should help to propel the market above 2800, even approaching 2900 in 2018. So are equities still the best place for your money in 2018? Absolutely. When you look at where our interest rates are, where the 10-year is. The 10-year seems to have a tough time even breaking to 2.5%. And so we think from a risk-adjusted basis that equity still remains the best place to put your dollar right. in 2018. And before we go, I have to ask you about Bitcoin surging through 15,000. I imagine you get a ton of client calls about the, the craziness around Bitcoin. We do. We're more interested in the block trade technology behind Bitcoin than the actual Bitcoin itself. We think that there's some interesting things that we can do going forward, and a lot of banks have been interested, in, uh, invested in that technology. So that's how we view it. Nadia Lovell, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.